an evolution mission. What's this? Baneling strain ready for augmentation. Discovered creature with powerful essence. Good adaptation for Baneling. Defeat creature. Assimilate essence. Create new strain. Ooh. Alright. What's this? Splitter. Suicide unit upon eruption splits into two smaller units that continue the attack. Split only occurs once. Okay. Or hunter strain. Suicide unit. Able to jump up and down cliffs. Leaps through the air to attack enemies. Oh, dude! They're making raptor strains of banelings! <laughs> that is cool! This is like the same choice as I had before, but... I mean, they are kind of an evolution of Zerglings, so it makes sense. Alright, l let's do this. This sounds like fun. I gotta pick whether I want the raptor banelings or the, or the exploding, splitting banelings. I guess, theoretically, I could have the raptor zerglings and then have the banelings explode into swarmlings or whatever. And that would be kind of cool. You know, I should have done the, the swarmlings for the zerg zerglings and then have the banelings evolve into the, the raptor thingies. I don't know. So, banelings are extremely effective against tightly grouped enemies. They're also good at breaking tough defenses. All right. Planet Nebeth. Unique life form present on surface. Let's do this. Ooh. Mitoscarab. Organism has evolved elegant survival mechanism. Decentralized nervous system. Upon death, remains become two lesser creatures. Nice. I want the Mitoscarab essence assimilated before the Protoss know we're here. Uh oh. So there's a time limit? Let's do this. Collect Mitoscarab essence. Additional essence. Prime Mitoscarib near. Oh crap. I'm gonna run out of banelings. I think I got it. Ew! Spinning sequence into Baneling Strand. Augmented Banelings ready for combat. This should be cool. Excellent. Let's introduce the Protoss to our new friends. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh... Is this all I've got? Uh, destroy Protoss Colossi. Okay. Let's do this. Look, they're rolling! Roly-poly, roly-poly. Splitter strain splits into two smaller creatures upon detonation. Occurs only once. Uh, do these ones explode, too? Delivering banelings now. I think they might. They're unending. That's going to be kind of annoying to have to select all of them all the time. They're little tiny dudes. Look at that. They're like fleas with glowing radioactive butts. Ew! So gross. I love it. <laughs> the Protoss are finished. Ready your next experiment, Abathur. Too easy. Scoria. Volcanic re- 
resource world. Hostile terrain. Oh boy. Thousands of banelings subjected to lava. Extreme conditions used to guide evolution. Oh, they're gonna jump! They're gonna jump! Over many cycles, adaptation occurs. Yeah, if they could leap, they wouldn't get burned by lava. New strain emerges, can leap up cliffs to avoid lava. That's brilliant. And that's how evolution really works. That's useful. Successful specimens scattered on surface must gather. But it probably took billions of years. Alright, so let's see. Uh, Milaz Banelings automatically Survivors target structures. Here must be collected. Uh, why are the ones that I have already upgraded? It's kind of weird. Well, look at that picture. It's really creepy looking. Whee! Lava rising. Remain on the high ground. Alright. Sounds legit. <laughs> Lava surges at regular intervals. Utilize high ground. Oh, that's one way to teach you. Let's take a good close look at these guys. Oh, those are, those are really cool. Got some movement out here. Gonna check it out. Oh, crap. No, you're not. Oh, let's watch these guys get burned by lava. <laughs> come on, come on, do it. You know you wanna, you know you wanna. Come on, come on, lava, come on, come on. Oh, I wanna see them burn, come on. Oh, they flew away, god damn it. Son of a bitch. Uh, here comes the lava. Well, they're not as dumb as I thought. Oh, it would have been so cool to see them burn in lava. Damn it. Oh well. I'll probably have to fight them later. Uh, I just gotta wait with my little banelings. Surge has ended. Low ground clear. Alright, let's go this way. Roly poly olies. Those things can jump? Get that Hercules back to base now! Zerg Force is inbound! Whoa! Aw, oh, I flew away. Are you kidding me? Let's go this way, quick. I don't want to sit here and wait. Checkpoint reached. Dominion mining camp. Extracting minerals. Oh hell no! I see them. Let's test out these new banelings. Taken minerals that may or may not have possibly Front been mined. Heavily fortified. Banelings unable to pass. The base is built into the cliffs. <laughs> Our banelings can travel overland and drop in from the back. <laughs> Brilliant plan. Alright, so... All right, where's their base at, even? Oh! Okay. Let's go this way. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Whee! Yay! We're like a big swarm of exploding fleas that can leap and jump and bounce. They're like Super Bowl combined with fleas and and explosions. Where are they coming from? <laughs> Bingling delivery complete. Let's do that again. Cause that was us. Awesome. Uh. Oh shit! Shit! No. Ah. I bet that's gonna be an achievement lost there. They died in the lava. Surge has ended. 
Low ground clear. That popped up really fast. I bet getting them burned in the lava is going to make me lose an achievement. Because if I was a map maker, that's what I would put. <sighs> Alright, well, let's blow them up anyway. Dominion mining facility destroyed. Experiment successful. Uh -huh. Your command center's got blown up out from under your ass. Sequences ready for integration. Hmm. Await decision. Ah. Uh, hmm. Jumpy ones or splitty ones? Jumpy, splitty. Jumpy, splitty. Uh, I don't know. These things seem like they have better tactical choices, but these ones could continue to explode even after they die. Hmm. I don't know. That's a really tough choice. You know what? I'm just gonna go with the jumpy ones, because I like the jumpy ones. You jump up and down cliffs, leaps over obstacles, and into targets from long range. Actually, wait a minute. No, because I could leap the zerglings up t to where I need them to be, and then evolve them. Yeah, let's do this one, because I can always move them into position first and evolve them. Uh, let's, let's do these ones. Yeah, I, I can move the zerglings uh, up and down cliffs and stuff anyway, so I, once I do that, then I can evolve them and then have the better ones from that. Seems like a good idea. I don't need both to be able to jump. Yeah, I think that's done. Alright. Back. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's, uh, I guess, travel to another planet. That thing is cool looking. The Leviathan. She has a pet zergling. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. He's like my favorite character. Oh. I hope this is a dream, because I don't want him to die, he's awesome. He's like best character. It's like a million times cooler version of Godzilla! Just as you must, if you survive. Why would he be helping her? Um, I'm confused. 
Ooh, select a planet. Caldir or Zarus. Okay, so I can go to, like, a Protoss planet or the Primal Zerg planet. I wonder if it'll let me go to both, or do I have to pick? I guess I have to pick. I want to see the Primal Zerg, so... That sounds awesome. Zerus, birth world of the Zerg. It lies far beyond the Caprula sector, where no Terran has ventured. You must go to that ancient place, Kerrigan. Learn its secrets and take its power. Why would he help you do that? I, I don't understand. He must know your plan. See, I have this theory that she is secretly trying to dismantle the Zerg from the inside. But, I'm not really sure how he would know that. I guess he's psychic, but maybe he's helping her because they're friends? I don't know. I, I don't get it. But Oh, wait, I can look at both. All right, Mutalist. Fast-flying unit deals damage to ground and air targets with a bouncing attack. Swarm Host. Siege unit. Spawns locusts to attack ground targets from long range. I've seen this before in the multiplayer, and these are really cool. You basically burrow them in the ground, and then they spawn a whole bunch of eggs out of their back, and they become like little tiny hydralisks or whatever. Like little tiny shooty things. And mutalisks are the tried and true, of course. Um, hmm. I do like mutalisks. Well, what's this one? Nafash, a brood mother, took part of the swarm to the frozen moon Calder, where she is fighting a Protoss expedition. Nafash's brood had many highly evolved creatures. To reunite the swarm, you will need those adaptations. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I need roaches and hydralisks. But I also need these. Hmm. I have to pick one or the other? That's a tough choice. I definitely need hydralisks, but I'm really curious as to what's going on here. Alright, well I'm gonna go with this since uh it sounds awesome. Alright, once again, I'm going to pause it while it's doing that, so that, that won't, you won't have to watch the loading screen forever. And we're back! Cinematic! The power of Zerus called you here. My need to see Menk's dead called me here. These Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. And stop your bitching and complaining! <laughs> like, oh, I'm totally not gonna do that! Oh, but you're gonna do anything, right? Uh, yeah. Uh... I guess then you can shut the hell up and do it! <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a very short break, and we'll be right back.